this is a fictional mind bender. So right out the gate here, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was not expecting much out of X-Men 97 when it was announced. However, I was pleasantly surprised by some of the new directions that they've taken when it did come out. And one of the most refreshing aspects was this was finally a great depiction of Cyclops as the proper badass and cool character that he is in his own right. X-Men got big in the 90s right before the cartoon series actually came out, back when the comic series was taken over by comic book artist Jim Lee, which is why the outfits in the show are right out of his comics run. But during that time and into the double O's where the movies became a big sensation, Cyclops' character suffered from being constantly undermined by other characters, especially, as we all know, Wolverine, who had always been the consummate anti-hero of the team since the comics intro way back in the 1970s. Think about it. When we saw the movies, people were always asking when they were going to see Colossus or Nightcrawler or almost any other excellent character rather than the team leader himself. He was forgettable, to be quite honest, and to many, and unfortunately including myself, quite pathetic. And the reason I think stemmed from his portrayal as the soft grade A student of Professor X that he was always drawn as in the comics and that has then proceeded its way into the movies. On the one hand, this was actually true to his original character, given his backstory. Fun fact, originally he was a rival for Jean Grey's feelings with Angel, long before Wolverine even entered the picture. However, despite some maturation over the years and character development in the comic as well, he was still at his core the clean-cut student of Xavier's dream, the Captain America, if you will, of the mutant race. Yes, his powers were cool, but they were also drawn and portrayed on screen as honestly rather boring. Oh, so you can shoot lasers out of your eyes? Fine. What else can you do? Well, I'm constantly sipping over this redhead and getting chewed up by my teammates, one of whom didn't even have powers and still beat me. That was Cyclops, guys. The reason why the movies focused so much on Wolverine was because they realized how much he had become not only the opposition to Sykes' good boy routine, but also kind of the draw for the franchise. Logan was introduced to the X-Men as the bad boy, the loose cannon, the guy you never leave your girl around alone. He smoked, drank beer, loved to get into fights, and oh yeah, could pop unbreakable claws out of his fists. And when they pair this with other teammates like Colossus, where they can perform really cool maneuvers such as the X-Men classic, the fastball special, you saw real diversity in his moveset. Moreover, the comics developed Logan into a more nuanced character as time went on, much more so than Cyclops, I believe. Yes, he was still the obstinate badass who thought he could beat anybody, which was often right, but he also was introduced to a samurai spirit and code of honor, a sense of Native American spirituality as well. A man who knew that he was damaged but was trying his best anyway to live up to Xavier's dream and try and be a better person. And this is all despite the fact that he often didn't act like it, much less actually say it. I remember back when the X-Men were during their 80s run in Australia, where he was introduced as kind of the main voice of continuing Xavier's vision. And again, this is the guy who was originally thought of as just a thug on the team. Yet again, Cyclops was still dry and we never or rarely at least saw him got to do anything cool with his powers. And that's why we saw what we saw in the movies and in the original X-Men cartoon series. However, X-Men 97 did a hard correction on this, and it finally showed the many uses his Optic Blast had, and more importantly, showed Cyclops embracing and enjoying it as well. He no longer seemed the uptight, by the rules type kid that we've all seen throughout the media for the last 30, 40 years. While this can probably be attributed to the writers doing their research, I think it also has to do with the modern portrayals of the X-Men leader within the comics within the last 15 years. He has openly rebelled and even killed Professor X. He has a controversial affair and relationship with former X-Men baddie, Emma Frost. 
He forms a secret mutant kill squad called X-Force, led by none other than Wolverine himself, and even shows kind of a begrudging friendship, almost brother-like relationship with him. And then finally, even has a no-holds-bar brawl with his longtime frenemy that results in nearly both of them getting killed, and resulting in the fracturing of the X-Men into two teams on each coast. The characters changed a lot, and the writers recognized this, and the peers will also recognize the need to upgrade his image. X-Men Evolution, I think, did a pretty good job of divorcing Cyclops from this classic portrayal in terms of he was still the good kid, but no longer was in constant competition with Wolverine, who is now shown in that particular series as a teacher rather than a love interest for Jean Grey. X-Men 97 comes out, and this new portrayal of Cyclops sells hard. I'm really waiting for them to show him doing one of two of my favorite moves that he can do with his powers. One where he blows a hole through a mountainside, and two where he uses his optic blast to bounce off walls to hit multiple targets at once. I cannot wait to see that if they actually do it. It's basically taking modern Cyclops and put him in the classic sense. So we kind of get a hybrid Cyclops, if you will, that makes the character that much more nuanced, that much more interesting, and yes, even that much more cool, surprisingly. But having said that, what are your thoughts? I know a lot of people like this new portrayal of Cyclops, but did you think that his old portrayal was as bad as I say it is? Or did you like him back then as well? Let me know in the comments below, but otherwise, this is the Fictional Mindbender. Y'all have a good day.